But yeah, so opting to stay on the CT side, smart choice, some would say, for uh, for Dignitas. But let's see what goes, let's see what goes down. Look, look at what's been brought up here. Have a look at that. Quite a bit of nades coming out on Snacks and, well, just a little bit of armor. Three people with armor here. And the push once again from MSL. It's getting a little bit of information, but no frags, unfortunately. Yeah, pretty passive setup right now from VP's perspective. Haven't really committed to either site. Neo's gonna go over and try and get information just alone solo at B. Decoy out at long. This will pull them back, but nice little stack inside the site right now as well for Care B. And who's that on top of him? I hate this overlay. It doesn't always show me. I think it's... Oh, it's not Nico. Either way, it is a decent stack. That gives them good information on the way through. It actually gets above the smoke. It's AZ, so there we go. But the problem is they've given up mid. VP's got out mid quite easily in fact Nico has let them play passive this is an apex approach but normally apex has a rifle when he does it so he only gets the one and that trade is now massive for VP smokes at the top of highway Kirby needs to make sure he has the information but they're actually gonna push right through they want to get in towards CT they want to completely Napoleon this defense divide conquer and take the site they choose as AZ now wraps back realizes that he's got a cover from truck does get the shot on Bialy and VP might have overextended they could have easily taken the A site instead they walk out a little bit too far and get caught off in return Kirby does drop down to Neo as he comes back through the vents and AZ now finds himself in a one-on-two bomb is planted down he switches out what pistol did he grab another USP so See if he can do this on the retake. Silence are going to work slightly in his favor to get off that first shot before being countered, but he won't even get that far. Neo's already got him, and it's one nothing. Virtus Pro. Yeah, interesting to pick up the, the, the USP. I mean, obviously, you want to get for that long-range tag there, but it's always a risky gun. I mean, picking up body armor up against that USP is not always the best, but these guys, man, they're, look at Neo. That was like surgical precision there on that headshot. And just one bullet's all that all that really needed, but they're going to go for a couple of rifle bars here. Some of the guys, Bialy, Pasha are going to pick up their SMGs. I want to get some of that cash in the bag. We'll just go for the AWP pretty soon. The push going to come through. Oh, it's Nax. Only quick work of Kirby. It does get a little bit of information, but still holding on to this middle here. Decent positions, though, for the T side over at B. And that one Lurk player outside vents, that won't allow a rotation. Snacks, meanwhile, does get the first entry kill onto the A site. As AZ has to fall in behind the forklift, he's going to get re-smoked. That actually is on his left, but it just comes through and clips, so he gets forced out of position either way. There is a gap. He tries to use it to his advantage, but Bialy finds him in it. And now it's MSL with very little HP. Before I can even get to him, he already drops down. So Virtus Pro, good anti-eco, no one lost, building up the economy. They did go to three rifles, and the SMGs didn't really contribute a whole lot to that round. So, unfortunately, they won't build up any extra money from that. But uh, still, good efficiency. Yeah, I was hoping they get into the sites a lot quicker. They obviously sprayed out a bit. The push went to the AKs, unfortunately. But that was lightning fast reactions there from Bialy as he got that final frag. And... That's what I love about this game. Now the push comes out here. The flash, a little bit late, does get flashed a bit there, Pimp. But oh, they're still going to keep pushing. I think they might nade, start flying out. A little bit of backup does arrive, and now the spray down. And those SMGs take over. One man pushing from Speedway. Taz will sort him out. It's MSL. It does go down, but now Dignitas are sitting with two, and Virtus Pro have a little bit of time to work with. A little bit of time indeed, and Pasha's going to find Pimp hanging out in the corner. And again, they stay fairly efficient, only lost Snacks. Now, the problem is that was one of the rifles. It was a Galil, it wasn't an AK, but they didn't recover that. So, what Snacks can upgrade to? He could have gone for the AWP if he wanted to, thrown that over where he's the upgrading player, but he goes to an AK. T-side AWP. to the SMGs. Yeah, T-side AWP, you'll see Pasha bring it out, but usually it's only when they're on the back foot and they need to open up positioning. Right now, obviously, first gun, they haven't seen what Dignitas is going to throw at them, but they've had full reign of middle. There hasn't been a lot of presence there. A little bit more of a, an aggressive, and actually this is really smart for Pimp to be in the vents. This gives them a better chance to hold off B and mid together. So now Virtus Pro are going to have to play with a better pick strategy to get in, 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 into mid if they want it. Yeah, opposite not to go for the boost this round. Obviously, not, don't have that power of, of the AWP. And obviously, quick headshots are the name of the game. And have a look at Naked Orp for Nebo. He's got, yeah, just 100 HP. And uh, I like the name of his orb. Oh, Nate does fly through. Now the smoke's are coming as well. They're going to make their way back towards this middle and go for that. That Molly into the vents will push back. Oh, wow. Pump. That op name. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. Well, 
They're gonna boost back up, but MSL's a little late there. Pimp realizing there's one close, and now they get confused because Pimp wants to take the shot, but MSL's still waiting for the boost, so that effectively goes nowhere. KRB does slow down the Snacks, trying to come out from Squeaky. Nico, peeking from Truck, has to cover off for his teammate. KRB, who gets stuck inside the site, and he couldn't do it. He couldn't hit that first shot because they'd already passed over into quad side. And Nico makes up for it by getting Neo. Taz, though. He'll step back out. They cross back over. He has a chance to get into a better position, but he gets caught off guard. They don't realize MSL's up that close, and Bialy gonna give away his position. Nico takes down Pasha on the flank, and it's all left to Bialy and Nico one-on-one. -on -one. Pop flash goes over the top. Nico can't hit the first shot, switches smartly so to the AK, and gets the kill on Bialy, but that could have been detrimental if he didn't switch over or got taken down on the initial peak. 12 HP to close it out. No kit, no problem. And Dignitas will take the first gun. This is much better. Their D side looked a lot better. That mid control was, was a lot more forceful to start off the round. Yeah, I was just looking at that that flash that I've trying to see a couple of guys do is that little pop onto the the wooden plank there in A sites, and it, it finally worked out. I saw the power of it. It's I, it's supposed to flash right above there. It's actually a really, really cool pop flash. I've seen some of the guys try it, but not really work. But that was the time it it worked for like a split second there. But I think he just got in the right position and yeah, not getting that frag. But then picking up the oh, there was actually going to be an off shot there from Snacks, but. Just didn't get the line. Have a look at this once again. MSL, it's wall spot his feet. And Pasha makes quick work of that. Right, well done. AZ still going to be holding this mid. Has Pimp up close. They haven't spotted him yet, so there's still a good chance they can use this. The problem is they've got a three stack and no one on B right now, so they have to rotate over. It looks like AZ is going to take that responsibility. And he'll get back over to try and defend because they also have Kier be in by the sandbags at mid, who has the op. Actually, pardon me, it's Nico with the AWP, but rather, Kirby is still there, so... Nico's gonna be under pressure, though. AWP alone on A. Fnatic do run this style because they make it work with the efficiency of JW in that position. Nico's only able to get one. Kirby does spot one crossing. He's smart not to shoot because he knows there's gonna be company, so he tries to lurk, finds Bialy. Now he has a good chance to get back onto the bomb plan, already does exactly that. Snacks caught off guard. Pasha, though, tries to go for one, and unfortunately, the camera gets locked on a dead body. My mistake, but either way, Kirby's gonna close it out, or is he? He's trying to go for this defuse before... Pasha can get in position, and Pimp's gonna do the job to cover him off. Well done. Smoke's in place. They knew exactly where the last remaining player was. And they'll get their second round, so this is looking much more promising. Keep in mind, they didn't get a single CT-sided round on train. They've already got two here on cash, and they've done them quite convincingly. Although, they both come down to one-on-ones and one-on-twos. It's been really good initial round play. It's making VP have to really come in with force and commit to a full site presence. The only issue right now is... VP are still doing quite a lot of economic damage to uh, Dignitas. They, they're still struggling to get those full nades out as well as the optimal rifles. Although, nothing wrong with the Famas. It's, it's, it's an extremely strong rifle. Oh, wow. That spray down there onto Kirby. That's going to put him down to 18 HP. And he's alone in this A side, so that could be a slight issue. But he's going to play it safe just for a little bit here. But still having a slight advantage here with their full buy on AK-47s. And a couple of nades here and there. Gonna put VP in a pretty good position. Nico, though, in that mid with the AWP. And we'll see what he can do. He had a fantastic little opener in the last. Uh, oh, that smoke's not gonna work out there, but they're gonna get the flashes out. And now, we see that pimp sitting in here. Oh, does he spot the man? Flashbang. He won't spray him down, but now one man up top gets him. AZ and pimp. Sorting it out. Uh, it's just two men left Neo and Bialy. Let's we'll see what they can do. Well, Bialy's pushing aggressively at A main. This will get him to come back over and help out his teammate to get back and get this bomb. But this is really good. A lot of low HP players right now for Dignitas, but they're still spread out really well. And all they have to do is set up crossfires and be in position to trades. Don't limit these to one-on-ones. If it goes to one-on-ones, then they have a real problem, but MSL, the high HP player, is playing really passive. And he does let Pimp go down, but where he's high HP, this could still work. This could still pay off for him, because he knows both are here. If it had gone to A and one baits the other like that, then it doesn't work. But Bialy, now it's falling apart. There's the one-on-ones. The second player, Nico, goes down, and MSL still doesn't peek. Neo catches AZ, and VP. This is exactly the problem. Four one-on-ones. MSL was in a position to bait. He was the high HP player, but he doesn't peek out when the second player goes down. That was the mistake, and that cost them. Four one-on-ones. That's all they needed. I think this rifle might have stuck out there. He did. He had a pretty favorable position. He saw the man sitting right outside of, off the ramp in B. But I think there might have been a little bit of information 
coming out there from VP that there was a man in sight and with his rifle sticking out there. And then, yeah, trying to set up the crossfire was a bit unfortunate. They had topside covered and B main. And then obviously hearing the vent coming through as well, that was uh, really, really well played. The man running straight through into mid. But now I'm going to go for this A push right here. Flashes and smokes come out. What was going to be a tag down there? 5 7 power from AZ and a little tag as well from Kirby. But now move on the side of Kenneth. Second headshots are all that's needed. But Pasha will make quick work of AZ once again. And this bomb could go down. It definitely will go down as it goes straight into the back of Scythe. And plant it for safe as well. While the rest of Dignitas make their way through. One man up top. Nico going to get spotted out there. And now the push squeaky. Can't pump get into favorable position here. The door is closed. He might be able to catch Neo right from behind here. He will do just that. And now that turns into a two on two. Can they win the 1v1s this time? They pick up two AK-47s as well. But oh, they're going to get caught off guard here. And Pasha and Snacks. We'll finish it off for Virtus Pro, making it five to two. Yeah, really well done. I, again, going back to that last round, two versus five, and not to discredit Virtus Pro by any means. Neo was brilliant when he t caught out AZ coming through the vent, but to allow four one-on-one -on -one peaks with low HP players is a bit sloppy. Um, they were starting to rotate. They tried to get back to the sites. All they needed to do was set up crossfires, and unfortunately, <clears throat> it didn't quite work out. That was a bit sloppy. So it lets Virtus Pro build up the lead on the back of an anti eco immediately after. And they line up here. AZ, though. There it is. They line up perfectly for the M4. Not a massive power gun. And I have to say, Nico, nice shot with the scout now as well on Pasha. This is looking way better for Dignitas already. But it's back to a two on five. We've seen what can happen this time, though. They do have essentially all full HP except for AZ on 41. As Neo tries to do damage over toward Checker. Yep, Snacks though in a pretty good position here. Wall spot man running through. Doesn't wait for him for information. Takes him down. <laughs> MSL picks the man pushing straight through the vents. Neo won't get enough information now. So can Snacks take the 1v4? Not with his knife out, he can't. Man, almost caught off. He still got back in a position to get the gun back out, but it was too late. Pimp pad position, pimp pad damage. So Dignitas pull it right back 5 to 3. It's been pretty back and forth in the gun rounds. One save for Dignitas, but kill distribution pretty good actually for both teams. Six to three, so three the difference, and eight to four, four the difference. It's a half either way. Top to bottom, 150%. Now we'll see the setup. Looks like it's going to be an A execution and a massive force buy right now for VP. So even though they won those two rounds, they were close. This cost them a little bit of money, and unfortunately, they can only work with these two AKs this round. Well, that's what it took the other round, and I mean, it worked out just fine, so we'll see what VP can do. But still, Pimp playing in those vents. Oh, we got the spray down, sees them boosting over. Oh, it's going to be a quick takedown as well. Oh, nice peek up there, but Pimp will pick off snacks, boost it up onto the roof. Now, with one of the AKs down, Pasha wastes no time to take go down two frags. Now, they are inside the A site. The bomb, though, in a favorable position here in mid. AZ will keep his eye on that one right there, but... What are VP going to do? Slow and steady, try to set up a crossfire, force it into those 1v1s once again, and see if their aim can outmatch Dignitas. Hey, good play by AZ. He went to peak A, knew they were in there, but then he immediately fell back knowing he had the bomb. So good, good mid-presence that time. Those pipes, by the way, at Cubby are so, so awesome when you get underneath them, because they actually checked it to see if there was a player underneath. And they overlooked it, so Nico was still able to get a kill as a result of it. And they're Virtus Pro, they pull that back. They actually catch off AZ and Bialy comes around, so that works out perfect. That was a force buy that goes their favor just by winning these one-on-ones again. And Dignitas getting caught out. AZ, again, was in decent position, but MSL... If he hadn't been able to get to vents, even if AZ fell to vents and let MSL take the position at Big Garage, there might have been a better chance, but man, oh man. Another round that potentially, again, it was a two-on-two, -two, but potentially had Dignitas written all over it. Yeah, it was a bit unfortunate. Like I said, just needed those two rifles, but now the push out, middle, Taz will take down Pimp as he did a little bit of damage there. MSL left on 7 HP as well, but now Bitters Pro burst on through. Snacks, snacks again. Nico and AZ do go down, but... Now we'll see Kibi left alone in this A site, gonna make a little bit of noise down the speedway, but the nades do come out, sees the one man jump up, flashbang does come through as well, trying to get a little bit of spray down through, he to hide there, oh, <laughs> what? makes it a double, oh wow, that he, was close. Man, that I thought close. he was in, in a dilly of a pickle when he ran into that smoke, I thought he was spotted on the way through, they lost sight of him and somehow he pulls a nice huge double when he falls and comes back out of it, economic damage done, of course wasn't gonna win the round, he still had the player behind him on A, but that looked kind of awkward almost that'll make it to the fragment for sure that that'll that'll make someone's fragment somewhere it was really really well played there by AC. 
Yeah, it was pretty nuts. So Kirby picks up that double Bialy. Gonna go ahead and boost over here for two teammates. They'll get in position, and again, there's a forward aggression in middle from Pimp. He gets caught this time. This will open up mid massively. They still have an op on the backside in Nico's hands, but he's already countered by Snacks, who now comes over and takes out AZ. Really good play, because AZ got the kill on Bialy right before that, so Snacks fully aware and covering off all the angles. Taz has already pushed through mid, and unfortunately, with a knife out, Kirby running over toward B to help out. Couldn't do anything. He gets caught completely off guard, so segregation down the mid. As MSL, though, good play lurking through. Takes down Neo in the smoke as well. One on two. Bomb, though, over on A is looking like it's going to be put into position, so MSL now has to try and lurk forward. Does get inside the connector, spots up one, manages to take down Taz, but still has work to do. The problem is Snacks has got a long way away from this bomb. He's down toward mid. He does have an op, though, so he can try and bait this out, but I don't think he has an angle on this. He may. He may just see him, and if he takes this shot, he waits patiently. As the defuse not going to come in. No confidence right now from MSL. He has no information on where Snacks is, so he's going to fall off this. He has to fall off this. And Snacks, planted well and in a good angle, may take damage toward the end of the round, but they're going to pick this up. It's all going to be Virtus Pro 8 to 3. Yeah, dominant T side right now from Virtus Pro. And like one of the things, like I said, it, it used to be a CT favorite map, but when you're playing at this pace, Virtus Pro are just running steam training, training everywhere. But. That was a very interesting plant as well. I mean, I, I can honestly say in my shot casting career, I have never seen that plant before. And it actually really well set up right at the edge of the A bomb side. And really great position as well to hold from. I'll definitely remember that one. Uh, it's super, myself, but... super unorthodox because you have to have full control of the site to do it. That's the biggest issue. Nice nade though, Snacks. He'll catch AZ. The alley's still waiting, knowing there's going to be a push at A main, and MSL gets caught by it. Have a look at this. Nico gonna burst on out, picks up an AK in the, t in the time being, he picks up the bomb as well. So that's gonna let them get into a roughly favorable position. That smoke that went on will lend a hand as well, <laughs> as it does block off the vents. And uh, well, Pimp can hold to the safe side right here. There must be some information that the bomb is down, but AWP now in Nico, and uh, he'll be able to keep an eye on that to see if there are gonna be pushes from Neo. But oh, we'll come down here. Oh, he spots him first, gets the sight, and now that's gonna be a plant in the B. As well, and he really just has one position to watch. Pump though, does usually play that Vince in mid, so whether he gets the oh, he spots him, does get the spray, and Pump takes down Neo. Oh, that's another great round, and this time in the hands of Dignitas. Yeah, really well done, Dignitas, to win, but again, the rounds they're winning. If we look back here, I think, what do we got? We got four rounds, that was a one on one. We had a, okay, that one was efficient. So round eight was actually quite good from them. But other than that, two on one, that one was close. One on one, that one was close. All the rounds have been really tight. So they're doing the work late in the rounds. So there's still a lot of holes. And as you can tell, if those one on ones go the other way, VP's had a similar situation. Nico this time, though, he'll catch Bialy really aggressively. Has to fall in behind Quad, though. Does so and repeats. Takes down Pasha. Goes for the third one, but AZ showed up. He'll collect the double as his teammate did eventually drop. Nico loses that off, but Kirby. Throws out the Pokeball and takes down Neo. They'll recover this op, and that's a much more efficient round. That time, three players stay alive. But again, you go back to rounds that VP have won. Two up, two up. That, that's a little different. We're back toward the initial pistols, but two up here, two. All of them have been won, essentially, with two players or one player's up. So if they can find more efficiency on their CT side, there's a lot of rounds for them to be won. Yep, and who knows? Dignitas could be incredible on the T side. I've seen too much of them on the cash T side, but so far, so good. I mean, they bring it back and pump, seals it off on B, taking down Neo. So a little bit of aggression coming out here. Look at this, coming through the smoke very slowly. It's gonna be a nice double gear. Oh, he spots out one. Did he see the other one as well? Oh, no, AZ spots him out from the vent side. Now the push into B. AZ comes forward, takes down Bialy. There's one more man left there. Taz sitting in the A main, and he will get hunted down. It's hunting season for AZ. And he seals it off with one last headshot. Oh, and that's gonna put them eight to six, so, my prediction was uh, 8 7 in favor of CT, but uh, you know, take take what you can get, and this is it. 8 to 6, round 15, the last round of the half. And uh, Virtus Pro slowing it down just a little bit. Well, we'll see if this can pay off and get close to 8 7. As we do have another A setup looking. To be in promise here and in place, Taz is going to throw out that initial smoke. That'll cover off quad side. But again, they're going to run Nico. Actually, it's Kirby this time solo. So Nico's 
Not even home. He's over toward mid with the op. So they change up their mid control massively in hopes that it'll pay off. Hopes that it'll catch VP a little bit off guard. Put more emphasis on this A site to keep more men alive. Kirby's in behind the quad. He's in an awkward position. They've already got one player boosted up. Virtus Pro on top of the red. But he's get caught off. It's Taz who goes over the top and around from behind. Bialy now with the double and it's all turning back. Dignitas, the change doesn't work out at all. And Virtus Pro are looking to make this a 9-6 half as Pimp finds themselves so low. His hose all dropped into the grave. Does manage to take back Neo. Claim revenge for those of that he's lost, but um, already in place. And Taz in a good position to take him out as he tries to come up speedway. And it's going to be 9-6 at halftime for Virtus Pro on the T side. Yeah, it's one of those things. I mean, T-side is... this. They, they did everything right, in my opinion. I mean, they had a lot of control of the mid. Most of the rounds they won were clutches, 2v4, 2v5, and just went their way. But that mid control was really, for me, what put... It was kind of the nail in the coffin in the end. It's just all from the, from the onset. And throughout the entire game, they just went straight into that mid and they got the control. And whether they sneak through smoke or favorable shots, the one thing that upset me that half was... There was no challenging mid with the AWP. We didn't see Snacks or Pasha, you know, going up against, I think it was either Nico or, um, it was Nico and Kerby watching that middle with the AWP. They switched between mid and A, but now look at those three man boosts going up into the mid. Spoke about mid control, but have a look at the stack onto the A side from Virtus Pro. They're going to come through one frag goes. MSL picks up one, picks up a second, but as to pick up Pump. A little while ago. Doors now, open. Making their way back around. Oh, door always open. And they can they get out. Can they land the headshots? He's behind that impenetrable damn forklift that no one seems to be able to shoot through. But it's a three on five year. Virtus Pro have done the impossible before. Can they land those frags though? Picks up one as he kind of makes his teammate in. And this looking possible. Bialy up against AZ and Kirby. Can they set up a great crossfire? One in door, one by the forklift. And they should be able to get enough information. They hear him running out here. Going to spot one man there. Managing to try to watch his back there. But that's going to be enough. And Dignitas. On the back of Kirby that Kirby that last round, and that's going to put them in nine seven crucial crucial pistol round there. There's there's pros and cons and two schools of thought on leaving that door open when you push on a pistol round toward long. If you leave it open and you've already lost two, they lost two players a main that time, and there was no read that there was two players long, but they left the door open, so it's obvious they've also pushed that that side as well. So all they have to do is just wait for them to repeak. If you close it, it's more likely you'll get overlooked. But the problem with closing it is you have to open it on re-entry. They're going to hear you, and you have to wait for the other players to get in position from the other side of the site, and where they'd already lost two and stacked it. it was only one player coming so right there it's 50 50 but a lot of players are, are more and more often closing that door when they push that position specifically on a pistol round where they've already got a push going elsewhere because it's very common to be overlooked if the door is closed you won't think anyone's gone through it or less likely to think someone's gone through it snacks is going to find Kirby. good scout from him and it's a three scout round three scout counter buy from vp right now yeah we saw this earlier it actually worked out both of them on train but on a map like this I don't know. B, B side as well. It's really, really tight, really close. And they kind of all need to get into the exact same position. And that is favorable, really top and mouth. But yeah, it's 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 going to be it's going to be really tough. Yeah, they're still trying. Pasha's still trying to get above. Use that jump mechanic to his advantage. But they're going to save these. They have to save all three of these. That's a big investment. This also means they won't necessarily be able to buy or have to buy anything at all. Obviously, Bialy went to a P250 this round. Neo could go for a full save here. They still have a similar situation. And saving that P250 as well. Same thing for Bialy. So they're not going to invest a single thing into this round. Or will they? Okay, so actually they're going to bring out nades. One flash, two HEs. Interesting. No smokes. This won't push slow, slow the push down when yeah. it does come in, but the flash will help potentially to cause some confusion. So I would expect they're going to play passively with that flash and try and get them after they've entered so they're in the open when they're blind. Yeah, those, those nades are pretty fantastic. Obviously, if you do land a pretty good nade at somebody's feet, depending on how good they are at catching, you no, know, just takes one little tap from this uh, from the scout. So it makes a little bit of sense, but obviously those nades are thrown really early as well, so I wasn't too sure. What their plan was exactly, obviously maybe expecting a rush out from the from the A site, but no, they're going to make their way out. And going to be the mid control once again. Oh, Taz tries to go for a shot, but he could get the jump one as well. Oh, he doesn't get it, and Nico makes quick work there. Taz does go down. Yeah, so good start to take one scout out of play. As MSL has worked his way up mid, needs to be still careful with this AK coming around the corner, because there are players at home on... The A site, one of which was a scout at quad, so there would have been a shot in play if they go for the jump, and they do. MSL, though, great response. Manages to react in time to catch Pasha before he drops back down to the 
Mother Earth and Snacks now coming around. Does get another shot out, but they've got control of this A site. Two kills already. Catch off the flank. Neo's not going to do anything from that position. And Snacks desperately trying with the scout to do more damage. Does catch Pimp. This is the best he can do right now is just keep these guns going down because they were fully invested into rifles. Smoke's going to hold him in position. Nade does more damage. Snacks, though, still wants to get forward. Still wants to get inside this site. As he swaps over to the AK, gives himself a bit more of a close range chance. But I think he's just going to save that AK, and that's the right call. So they'll bring this back. They'll make it 9-9 off the pistol and no, uh, no eco going against them. But... Virtus Pro, we're going to have guns out in this round. Yep. Like I said, Dignitas may just have that that perfect T side. And we saw it from VP in the last round. They do tie it up 9-9, as you mentioned. But now it's, the, now it's the most important round. It's that first buy round. And what can VP do with rifles in hand? Are they going to go for the AWP? I think I might have seen one on the floor. No, it's going to be straight up rifles with an AK-47 save in the previous round. So... I can keep it nice and close, keep those angles. There's no, it is one warp on Nico, but he's just had a fantastic game with the AWP so far. Uh, sitting at the top, yeah, 15 for 13, and much, much better um, map here from Vert Dignitas as compared to that train map last round. But now we'll see double boost. Double vent, yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's super interesting. Gives them a lot of control toward mid, but it's a different approach. And unfortunately, even a shallow Molotov, I don't think two players would be able to evade it, so one could get pushed out quite easily. But MSL's lurking. They do have Pimp set up on Squeaky right now. But as we can see, A site only has one defender in it. He's extremely up close. Toward the entry point, it's Bialy who's going to have to be pretty solid when they do come in. And he does get the first. That's MSL down. No one else going to repeat it either. So that's a free kill. No damage done. And no exchange going against him. As Kirby wants to come over again from mid, grab this bomb and try and join on this take because they do have a man down. But an advantage on the A site is the rotations are slow to get there. We're just seeing now. Neo get into position at truck and already Kirby finding Taz. Bialy does get one more, but Kirby's gonna get a second. Finally, he gets put it out of play by Neo, but this comes back to a one on two situation for Nico. Has the op trying to lurk forward, but as mentioned, he's got a player on his flank. Nice shot on Neo. I'm not sure he's gonna expect this second player to come from A main, though. Does switch over to MFAR. Smart, please spot him. He did spot him. That's crucial. Doesn't. Managed to get taken down in response either. He has a smoke out, so he can get this plant in, but Pasha's going to get aggressive on it. Flashing either side. Doesn't manage to blind him up on the first one, but the second one does, and Nico has no response. Well played from Pasha. Find the bomb, sir. Spam the E key. Got <laughs> kit. Got lots of time. So Virtus Pro again. Another close round. They've been a lot of close rounds on this map, which does say that Dignitas, if they can tidy up a little bit, have good potential here, but... Virtus Pro resume the lead. They'll force an eco out of... Actually, they won't. There's really good money from Team Dignitas. They manage this really well. The only one who's yeah, actually broke is, Ke is Kerby because he's gone down the most. There was, uh, was a pause coming out there. Yeah, there was the AWP buy, but they're going to go for another one as well. Nico, Nico going to grab that up for himself. And yeah, the Deagle. We saw what Kerby did with the Deagle in, on train. We'll see if he can do that all over again but 10 to 9 and Pasha in that 1v1 situation I I, I don't know man I'll, I'll put my odds on Pasha he's just plays so smart and we've seen him do those 1v3s where he kind of sneaks up right behind the people and then does everything interesting smoke map from Kirby there he does get it straight down maybe he wants to go for a different smoke but instead now having this MSL speed coming through quick frag there headshot onto Neo and now is the spray going to be enough here from Bialy it won't bring them down enough but uh, there's enough information and have a look at this though, boost back into the vents and that AWP shot from Nico just comes forward. Look at Taz oh, trying to do that. something, yeah, with the P90 at mid. He won't be able to do much though, AZ's already got him. But MSL's quietly waiting inside Checker right now. And Snacks wants to lurk back out, does get spotted up. MSL trying to find the shot, can't find it just yet, so Snacks gets back into position from Generator. He's able to fall back into cover, but not covered enough from Pimp, who comes back around out of the vents. And now they've got control of this site. It's all Bialy. And he's being so quiet to walk away with this gun and get saved. Yeah. Get a, uh, You know, they aren't in the best financial situation at the moment, so a couple of exit frags here could could do pretty well. I mean, what's at 250, 100, 650, 350? I mean, sure, there can be a drop coming out from AZ, but if you if he manages to get at least two frags here, I mean, MSL 1 HP, you could sneeze and take down MSL right now, but uh, when he goes through to the T side, the uh, spawn, I'm uh, rather going to play it safe here on the A side and maybe wait for one of them to come hunt him. But yeah, 10 to 10, much closer map coming out here from Team Dignitas, and 
on the terrorist side as well. I mean, that's what we like to see. What's what I like to see. No, this is um, this is much better. The fact that they're able to buy out one more win that round, it definitely keeps VP honest. Remember, this is VP's map choice this time around in this double header. They call them best of twos, but they're better put based on the point system as double headers because you can tie the series in two ways. One is double draws or one is double wins. MSL, great early read on Pasha who's pushed up. And again, they're going to go for this force buy to support this M4 that has... Bialy's name written all over it. It's going to be a scout for Neo, and Bialy's making good work of that gun he saved as he already takes down Pimp, and that actually slows down the push at mid because with MSL's early pick, they had full control of it, but not on highway, and it's a double passive play at Z Connector. Snacks, though, immediately drops down, and MSL's going to take control of events. He wants to try and at least spread out this defense, and so far, it is working. They've pulled Neo over. He's going to get double shot, though. That scout coming in massive play. AZ the second of which to drop. And Nico and Kirby suddenly realize that this is not working out to plan. They're going to reconvene and head back toward middle, but... Watch out, they've got company heading back over toward the A site already because it's a great read from the CT side. And it's Bialy that the one is going to be on the quick rotation. He never left, he started the league down mid, but Kirby, what an entry, he knows exactly where Bialy's playing with that single M4. He gets taken down, bomb going to be tried to get planted, and Nico, excellent reaction shot on the quick scope on Taz. He misses that shot, it goes to a one-on-two against Nico, and then there's a real potential for Virtus Pro to win this. Now they've got a chance, they need to secure this anti, or rather post-plant situations. Kirby can't cross back over to main. That's a bit of a problem, and he gets tagged up by Neo. Takes him down to 2 HP, but 2 HP is more than enough to counter back against the scout, and that AK-47 makes no mistake. Great entry from Kirby on Bialy. I don't know, man. That gun is just incredible. He he was strafing and jumping, or rather jumping to his uh, to his right, and still landed the shot with a, with a, with a, with a scope rifle. I mean, that is... Uh, that is like some Quake Railgun kind of stuff right there. And that's, that cut is just too OP. But yeah, great round again from Dingtus. They get the lead for the first time. Well, besides the pistol round there. They get into the lead and... Uh, well, actually, I'm lying. They've been the lead. They're going to lead again. Yeah, rather. And well, I thought we might see a little bit of a boost there with AZ onto the truck. But now look at this. He knows something is up. He knows something is up. Taz is going to pop his head over there any second. And I have no doubt it's going to get taken right off. But Pimp as well. Have they seen something? Yeah, look at that. Waits for the flash. Flash doesn't come through. Counter flash comes through as well. Oh, oh MSL! Switching gun. Switching right at the end. That's, a, that's one of those habits we were talking about. And, well, that's going to be a 5 on 2. Virtus Pro have done it before, but with the pistols in hand, I'm not too sure. Yeah, unfortunately, he went to pull the nade out that time, so he actually had a purpose to do it, but... He could have made that kill. It still makes it count. Doesn't lose any HP, so ultimately makes no difference. Could have been awkward though. They'll smoke off CT and they'll walk inside the site. They've got control. There's only pistols to come against them right now and they're a long way away. Good crossfire positions. Everyone's covering off the entry points. So Pasha's gonna go look for exits. They'll split up for the exits too. This is smart because either way they exit, there's someone to try and do damage. I'll see if yeah. Bialy actually he wants to get style in with this deagle. He wants to get a little bit more aggressive. Does spot Nico. Couldn't hit the headshot. Takes a good amount of damage into him. But Nico responding as Pimp found Pasha before that. So Dignitas will pick up another round, and now things are looking a lot more efficient. Look at their money. All in a really good position. As the last two rounds, they've only lost... Actually, last last round was close, but the last the round before that, the last, I guess, three rounds, they lost potentially one player. If you exclude that uh, that gun round from, uh, from VP. I, I really like that from Nico. I mean, yeah, he could have taken the off shot, but... You know, there was, it was a pistol-pistol duel, and he did the right thing, pulled out his P250 and uh, sealed it off. And... <laughs> But now Snacks, oh, flashing a teammate there, unfortunately, but the molly comes through straight across. Lots of mollies come through as well. Have a look at this, spray down Kirby comes through, tries to go for the spray through smoke as well. And that's going to be Snacks going down. Is the B side open? That is the question. Have a look at this, Pasha coming through the vents. Will he get spotted out? Oh, no, Izzy's there waiting. Gun in hand. He does pick up one frag though. Kirby will go down. And, okay, that was really interesting. Was that delay from GoTV? But it looked like he kind of just took a deep breath, pulled out his rifle and shot him in the head. Either way, he gets the kill. Pimp, though, responding, but only for the trade. As Bialy stays strong from the barrels, but unfortunately, Bialy is going to have to man up once more. He wants to flash himself through, and they pursue him. Nico's there. He knows he was waiting, and the op gets the better of it. So, Dignitas, after not getting any CT sided rounds on train, pick up only six in this map on the CT side, but look at their T side. 
That's incredible. They've only lost that first gun round, and then they were still able to buy. That broke the economy again for VP, and they've never been able to sustain yeah. it since. And four in a row, they're starting to build a money bonus, but money bonus doesn't have the same effect when you're on the CT side because guns are just so much more expensive. Not to mention you need kits as well. Have a look at this push through. Yeah, Pasha does, does get the backup flash as well. Won't get the frag, though. AZ backs him up. A little bit of a spray down to the... The flashbang there from MSL, but now have a look at this. Still trying to get a bit fresh here with Dignitas. But Taz right in front of the door. Oh, oh he's waiting. Taz actually knows. opened it. Weird. Because yeah. he could have controlled that by continuously shutting the door on Pimp and be a bit of a troll like Taz likes to be. But I think he either he guessed that he was going to be right in front of him or he guessed when he was going to try and open it because he opened it inward and then Pimp just had to back up and say, okay, thank you very much. Gives him the line of sight for free and eventually gets the kill. Bialy responding though, so at least they get a trade on that side of the site, uh, map rather, and uh, drop one rifle down. Look out in the corner. Neo's in a good position. They're gonna come in, think one's got the other checked off. Oh, MSL, good read. Because Neo was lining up the shot on Nico. Yeah, I think it might have been waiting for a little bit more information, but uh, just, yeah. These guys aren't gonna peek alone. They're gonna look for those trades, and they do find it. And, well, Bialy once again, it's like the theme of this game, really. Bialy versus everybody. But we haven't yet seen him take down uh, take down four men at once. But it's going to be 14 to 10 after this. So this is a crucial, crucial round for VP. They've got to save. They will be able to get out of buy in the next round. But it's going to be so big for them. And uh, no one wants to see this end in a draw. I mean, we're here because we want winners. But, man... Well, it's kind of a, it's, again, it's, it's, it's three points for each, so it's three points a map win, so we kind of each get a win, in a weird yeah. way. But it'll draw the series out either way. It's gonna be another round for Dignitas, and they're just Ooh, adding them up kill. quickly. Yeah, and they took down Bialy. Of course, it's CT side, so after the round doesn't make a difference. He doesn't lose the income, but it does take a gun out of their hands. That's massive. Yeah. Yeah, well, they still got a lot of cash, so they are gonna pick it up, but this has just been an incredible half from Dignitas, and... It's so strange, man. The map that they pick, they don't win. The map that they that VP pick, they don't do so well on the favorite side of it. Then bring it back and turn it up on the T side. Now, AZ already tagged down to 60 HP pimp to 86. But we'll see now. Can Virtus Pro bring this back? Or, or can himself get this opening frag yet? Or sees the one come through. There's going to be a flashbang out onto Taz, but that smoke does come down. We'll pick up the first one. We'll go for the second. Incredible from Taz. Good response though from Nico. Picks up the double with the op. Now Taz still up close. They can't do anything about him. They still haven't found that shot through the smoke. And I have no idea what the second player at Big Garage, Nico, was baited out by because he could have popped out and taken Taz down on that cross. There was a gap in that smoke. Either way, Neo now finds Cherub and it's all left to Pimp. And it was, it was actually Pimp that was in there. He could have popped out a lot quicker to get Taz. So either way, Dignitas don't look poised to take this round after getting so many in a row. Finally, Virtus Pro have an answer. This smoke does buy Pimp a little bit of time, but Neo's lurking, trying to know and bait out the cross. He knows he has to go for this cross. Gets inside, Pit turns back, catches Taz. What a shot damage on Neo in the smoke as well, and Neo pops out, he gets him as well. What a play from Pimp. He takes down two very quickly, has to fall in and get this bomb plant down, though his time was close, getting close to expiring, and he has very low oh. HP, so Bialy pulls it back. That would have been the nail in the coffin to go to match point on a huge individual play like that. But Virtus Pro get away with it. It's so tough, man. You know, having a having a 30 tick on GOAT TV, it's just like, you see the shot, you're like, oh, he's gonna make it. Oh, no, just not happening. But that was incredible. I mean, that, that spray, he just almost had the spray control perfect. Had to put out the pistol, but unfortunate there, but just couldn't get enough time to... I don't know if he wanted to fake it or not, it would have been an option to fake the plant and maybe bait him out and try to get him, but have a look at this now. They're going to go hard onto that B site. We'll see what they can do right there. And this isn't even an eco round, this is straight up. As they try and come in, Neo's already holding. Snacks comes out of the vents, he's going to find one on the front. As passes now, it finds AZ, so this is what you normally see on a pistol, a fast play on the B. They throw a curveball, they just want to get this to 15. Dignitas want to get out of this alive, but... They don't have to. They can slow this down. They have time to work. They still have a few rounds to work with. Unfortunately, by doing this, well, they still have money for the next round, but they throw away what potentially could have been a little bit more efficient. They still have this down to a one on three, but Nico's on very low HP. Op to work yeah. with. This is going to be the longest minute of his life, I can tell you that. They know exactly where he is. They do have a man. Well, they could maybe think he went to the T spawn, but. 
They have, they have an idea where he is and still sitting on 26 HP. And, uh, well, he could look for an exit, but I think there's a man pushing in from mid. No, not at the moment. So he's going to play it, so head back to the T-spawn. Yeah, saving this is a reasonable call. Everyone's got decent money. 71, 70, 61, 65, 42. Everyone there's going to be able to buy, including Pimp. But if he can save this, stay at 71. These two guys are going to head up to the same amount of money. Good shot to catch out Pasha. Now they know where he is, though. Yeah, they're not close enough. He'll get away with this. So now he'll be able to force out one more. So they'll essentially have two more gun rounds out of just saving this single op. And that means that Virtus Pro have to tie this up without going against pistols. That's uh, that's pretty massive. Yeah. I mean, they're starting to build just a little bit there. And they will be able to pick up their M4s now, but Kit... Kit's around, and uh, quite a couple of nades as well. Yeah, so they, they'll be fine. I mean, they, they got quite a hefty cash, but yeah, as you said, two buy rounds now for uh, for Dignitas, and it's a pretty great position to be in. This is one thing we'll talk about. Nico here peeking onto that. Oh, what just happened? Did I lag? I think we did. Unfortunately, the GOAT CV lag, but MSL and AZ each found a double on entry, so this works out really well. And VP trying to make a comeback. Nope, can't do it. That nade from Pimp is going to put us on to match point. Wow. Yeah, my apologies. I was talking, thinking nothing was happening. All of a sudden, just explosion of deaths everywhere. Wow. Interesting. But yeah, match point. Wow. And VP is broke as well because of that. So they'll be running with five sevens, two of them, a Deagle, a P250, and the scout for Pasha. Easy's gonna get the first. Snacks responding, but Neo wants to get aggressive inside this smoke. Hasn't been able to do it as Easy's gonna get another double. Nico waiting for a little bit more chance here with this AWP. Now it comes down to just the two remaining players, Bialy and Neo. And it looks like Bialy is going to be the one that gets under pressure first because they want to take this A site. No. Oh. Nope. 5-7 five, seven, five, seven says no. And now it's going to be for the A site coming in right here. And it's Bialy and Neo. Bialy getting his straight into the site there. He's actually really close. Can he get the shot? He doesn't. Nico turns around, takes him down, and that's going to be a 1v3. It's all up to Neo to keep his team in the game. And it's not enough. Dignitas, tie it up 1-1. One, one. Um, yeah, really well done. <laughs> Crazy. So they, yeah, essentially, they both pick up victories, but as a best of two, it is a split series, so they both have three points now to start things off, to start the season off, to start the group.